To start taking samples of your soil, you'll need two things, the John Deere Gainer and the Isaria Scout. With the sampler, we can find out on which types of soil your crops are growing on. Let's take a look at the new Precision Farming tab in the menu. There are four different kinds of soil, loamy sand, sandy loam, loam, and silty clay, each offering a different level of yield potential. They will become visualized on the map after you've taken and analyzed the samples. The next step is to find out about your soil before you begin preparing the field. Samples are collected in the vessels at the bottom of the unit. Let's switch to the soil map and have a look at the visual impact of taking samples with a 25 meter radius. You can see the radius on the mini-map as well. This is the only indication for areas with samples taken, they're not analyzed yet. Since one or two samples won't give you enough data, you need to cover as much of the field as possible. Have enough samples collected? Press Z. Depending on the difficulty, the price of analyzing the samples will vary. When you get the lab results back, you'll see the soil properties on the soil map. Now you have the data. Not only are there four different soil types, you also have to take into account different pH levels and the content of nitrogen when improving your yield. You can increase your pH levels by liming the fields. The most prominent addition in the UI is the lime application bar. While the red mark shows you the current pH level, the tiny flag indicates which pH value to aim for. By pressing the comma button, you can activate or deactivate the automatic application rate of lime. If you choose automatic mode, the pH value will be increased dynamically up to the optimal value. Each soil type has a different optimum value. You can see the liming results on the pH map. You now need to provide the crops with nutrients by getting the nitrogen levels up. Depending on the crop you want to sow, use slurry or manure first. These help to reduce the application rate and costs for mineral fertilizer later. After sowing the crop, you can adjust the nitrogen level to the crop target value with mineral fertilizer. While liming and fertilizing, you'll see the rising values live on the minimap. After the usual field work, including the removal of weeds, the crops will soon be ready for harvesting. But that's not all. Precision farming is about collecting data and statistics too. Here, you'll see everything that has happened so far. How many soil samples you took per field and how much it cost and how much lime and fertilizer was applied. Depending on how many fields are in your possession, you might be using the AI helper. His route can now be optimized with the help of the GPS signal provided by an RTK station. There are two different RTK stations to choose from. After placing the RTK station on your farm, the helper will work more efficiently. Meaning, you'll save seeds, lime, fertilizer, fuel and, in the end, money.